Okay, so we just gave Eric a black rose. He freaked out a little bit. Um, left us a record for this phonograph. But we don't have the rest of it, apparently, so we better go look around and see what we need. Oh, you know what? I should probably go ahead and click on this. Just so that we know we need to get in here. Add it to our objective. Christine's dressing room. Let's just go look around at some things. I mean, I've got... I'm... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no, okay. I put one down already. Whew. I should have had four of those, and I thought, wait. Yep, I have all four of the knights. I gave Yorick his skull and got his weird kind of creepy mask. Mm -hmm. Um, let's duck in here quick. This has stuff. Okay. Find the thing stuff. What we need is this. We need a gramophone. We don't really need the whole thing. We just need the ear for it or whatever that thing is called. I really don't know. Um, but we'll, we'll just take the whole thing because apparently that works too, right? Alright, uh, we need Beethoven who's hanging out over here on a picture. There's a trunk. A pop up book. It's got a boat on it. Does anybody else hear that and just like go immediately to Homestar Runner. I still clicked on that. Did you guys see that? I clicked on that stupid thing and it told me I didn't, so this is just looking increasingly dire. We are just shit out of luck for a good score. I'm gonna try my best not to cry myself to sleep tonight. A Zochipilli statue? Somebody more cultured than me, tell me, uh, what that word is. Alright, now we just need a rodent. A rodent. I don't really speak French. It's got a weird nose. I don't know what that thing was, but I never went to meet one in real life. Yeah, you just had one in your hands, but <laughs> who am I to judge? A bomb? Ooh, it's an acne bomb. I love those. Ooh, side tables. You can never have enough side tables. Or eggs, for that matter. What is this egg that they speak of? I want it. Ooh, it's a pretty egg. Egyptian cats. I mean, those are always pretty cool to have around. Here's that skull mask we found earlier, but it's back, and so we're going to find it again. And there's that sun crest that we totally left in Joseph Bouquet's coffin, but it's back again, too. As I said, now we're going to start doubling back and doing a lot of things the same. Um, or, I'm sorry, doing a lot of the same puzzles. We've got this kind of my favorite little tune in the game playing. I don't know how well you guys can hear it, but all right, focus gives. Okay, we need a dove, a jester, a tiki mask, and a. Where's a dove? Hey, where's Joker? Where's a tiki mask? But where is that hook? Ooh, it's more like a whistle. Somebody's been flagellating! Eric, I did not want to know that about you. Oh, come on. I keep looking over here, but that's a snake, and I don't need to touch that. Here it is. Quite a ghastly mask. <laughs> I say, quite so. Oops, I forgot to do something there. And I'd like to take that, so I'm just going to cover it in embalming fluid, because that makes perfect sense. And it has a rope attached to it conveniently, which is nice. So then I don't have to make my own grapple later. Um, let's go. You know, as long as we're here, let's check back at the beginning and, oh my god. We can totally find something here. It's this book of matches, to let you know. A nautical compass. I would like one. It's right here. Yeah, let's see. A palmier pastry? Well, wow. lamb steaks. I have no idea what that even is, but I suppose if I see something delicious like that, I'll just click on that. Here we have to find the Aurora Borealis. It's right there. That's another one of the kind of weird ones I should have pointed out earlier, but didn't. Um, here's a lion. I'm a lion. Little known fact. 
Unfortunately, I'm a boy lion. A little depressing. Pendant, is that you up there? Yes, typewriter key. You have to find all these typewriter keys in Ravenhurst, so I totally just flashed back to that one. Or Return to Ravenhurst, which was another one um, of the better games like this. I'd actually hesitate to say that it was overall a better game. If you haven't played that one, Return to Ravenhurst is fantastic. Uh, it takes a long time to beat it your first time through, and even subsequent playthroughs. Waiting for sound! Even on subsequent playthroughs of that one, I mean, were, were trickier to do, and the puzzles were a lot harder, so... If anyone's looking for more of these sorts of games to play, I would heartily recommend Return to Ravenhurst. Actually, like, probably for about four of my playthroughs, Evelina would um, think to herself, This is very disturbing about this chess set. And I'm sitting here wondering, what? Apparently, she's easily distressed by very kind of dumb things. But she's a simple girl. Anyway, this puzzle's pretty easy. You just got to get the knights to uh, want to jump the king or be able to jump the king. Knights generally like doing that sort of thing, you know? So this last one I'll be a little, I'll suck a little bit and it'll take me a second to, to get it to a good spot. So Sorry, I'm, I am not a chess master. I can play, but that's about it. There we go. And I got what appears to be a pile of money. Quick, Evelina, take the cash and run. 20,000 francs, this seems significant. I thought I was supposed to be able to... Maybe it's this room. It is. Foolish me. Well, I'm going to go ahead and grab this salt shaker since I know right where that thing is. And this sweet camera that I wish was mine. Um, and then proceed to bumble around finding the rest of the stuff, taking a ridiculously long time and making everybody watch really annoyed. Look at all these ravens inside. Makes no sense. Gosh, it's so hard to see what's on these pictures. Oh, here's an acrobat. He's just tiny. Maybe he's like one of the borrowers. A borrower acrobat. I just captured him. He couldn't even get that pastry. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a hint because I really don't want to stay in here anymore. And we only have about a minute, a couple minutes left. I can use this to knock off. Yes, you could. But I'm sorry, we're going to detour here just because I have to show you guys. I was like, well, okay, we can use it to melt ice. Um, and the first time I played through this, I, I didn't come back out here. But we need to anyway um, to dig something up in the snow. Oh, me, oh, my. A skull mask. Who would have thought? I remember the stupid chest. The one that just, oh, it hurts my heart. She will not salt it. We just can never get in. And it just, it taunts me. Because I want in so badly. What a mean thing to do to a nice girl like me, right? Alright, so we're going to use probably our remaining 30 seconds or so. Um, wait. Crap, where am I going? Wandering around like idiots. Well, like an idiot. I'm not blaming you guys. It's not your fault. I thought I could do this. Alright, we're going to do this last puzzle, and then we'll pick up again here. Ohm's Law Triangle. Dang it. Why didn't I do more math? Saturn? Wherever you are, I'll find you. Here you are. Little devil. Musical sheet. Look that. Ring, ring, ring went the trolley. Ding, ding, ding went the bell. That's enough. An ink vial. Mm hmm. And. Can you see? And some of the music in this game, it gets so repetitive and. I, get, I do get a little annoyed with it. I know some of the other people I know who had played this um, were kind enough to share their opinions. Really enjoyed the music, but I frankly am a little 
unimpressed. It's okay. It just reminds me of um the the first kind of bad rendition of the the Phantom of the Opera Lon Chaney film that I saw. You something? Nope. All right, accuracy down again. Um, of the Lon Chaney film that I saw, and it just was the same horrible music looping over and over and over again, which is why uh, it'd be a good idea to watch one of the good versions if you get the chance. Hey, Gemini, why is this dumb and why can't I find you? <sighs> Gemini are a triangle. That's all we need. That's all we need. Oh, here's a triangle. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and cheat and be really mad at myself when it was really obviously on this book. Alright. And that's enough. Um, so we're going to go ahead and quit and see you next time and go do what we have to do with the Symphony of Fire. Bye!